My name is Margaret Donovan and I'm a junior in the Nutritional Sciences program at the University of New Hampshire. And over the past two years, I've been working with Jesse Morrell in the Nutrition Department on a project called the Young Adults Eating and Active for Health Project, which is currently happening at 15 universities across our country. This project specifically is focused on the psychosocial aspects of weight gain. So as we see across our country, obesity rates rising associated with cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension. We have also found that this has been correlated in our young adult population. Specifically, I found in my literature research that 60% of our young adult college population is reporting uncontrollable amounts of stress and a low quality of life. So I was really interested to find the correlation between what we saw in weight gain and what we were seeing in the psychosocial effects of college. So while a typical American is likely to gain about two pounds of weight in a year, the typical college student is likely to gain about four to six. The Young Adult Eating and Active for Health project is really interesting and unique because it uses a web-based tailored intervention. So we recruited 163 UNH students that were split into a base uh, to a control and also an intervention group. So in the intervention group, they filled out a number of online surveys, which gave me the data to evaluate their quality of life and emotional support, but also gave us data on things they needed to improve on, such as aspects of their dietary intake or their physical activity. So this is extremely tailored to what they needed, and it was also web-based so they could get it to their phone or to their email. So this happened over a 10-week period, and then at the 10-week line, we were able to reassess their BMI, which gave us correlative data, such as what you see here on the bottom. So what we found here was that those that, um, those that reported being dissatisfied with their life through our Cohen scale or our breakfast scale were also likely to gain about a kilogram of weight over a three month period, while as those that reported being content or pleased with their life were likely to gain only 0.14 kilograms or lose about 0.22 kilograms, which is something that you would um, expect um, as normal variation between that three month period. What we also found in brighter news was that our college campus at the University of New Hampshire had a much higher quality of life and level of emotional support than was seen at the national level. So 60% of our students reported being pleased or very pleased with their quality of life. And 49% um, reported being usually able to find their emotional support right here on campus. So all we, although we found that our intervention over a three month period didn't make a huge difference in the body mass index or the perceived stress level of our participants, we did find some interesting correlations between weight change and quality of life. So as we now collect 15 month data and also collaborate with the other 15 universities, we're looking forward to seeing if we'll see the same correlation in a bigger population and if in a 15 month period, our intervention will be successful at helping with stress levels and um, improving body mass index uh, among our young adult population.